Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. This is where I show you what I'm carrying today in my pockets. I'm keeping my pockets full. And we go through it all and talk about the knives, the cigar, and everything else that I take along with me to make my day a little bit better. Even in this extraordinary heat on the East Coast, but it's the summer. It's supposed to be hot, right? Let's talk about what I have. Um, real quick, uh, let's see. I'm, ah, look at me pause. I'm, I'm thinking about a big sale this weekend. Here's the only thing. My birthday's Friday. <laughs> so if, if I wake up, and I'm not hung over for the whole weekend, then we'll have a big sale. Um, and I think it's going to be a lot of Chris Reeve knives, a whole bunch of them, and it's going to be the last chance to buy them you and I, mano a mano, uh, with the prices that I give. And then I'm going to contact a middle person, probably Arizona Custom Knives, if they'll have me ship them all up, send them to them. Uh, the prices will go up because they take a percentage as they should. They take care of everything. So if you're interested in some very good Chris Reeve knives this weekend, if I don't post, I'm hungover. Just wish me a happy birthday, okay? And let's move on. We'll do it the following weekend, okay? I'm also going to have a lot of Spydecos on sale and some browse blades. I've been holding back on my browse blade knives I'm a big Browse Blade fan. I have a lot of his earlier knives, a lot of his mid techs that are very limited. I held back because Jason, Br I don't know him personally, I just love his knives, has been introducing inexpensive models of these. And so I didn't want to, hey, if you guys can get inexpensive models, go for them. So I think as I offer the real limited ones, they're mid techs, they're more expensive. I'm going to put them out there and I'll also tell you guys what he's offering if I can look them up um, as a non-expensive alternative. All right, let's talk about the pocket dump deconstruct. Also, I got contacted by Spydeco, so probably um, early next week I'll have some Spydeco knives brand new. I have to say the four knives, they don't make me go woohoo like the last three. Uh, so we'll probably have two uh, um, knives of the day featuring the two brand new knives from Spydeco, all right? And that'll probably happen next week as well. We're still doing knives of the day. Let's talk about what I have in my pocket. Um, this is the Concord Impresario. By the way, I'm sorry for all the notes. I hope you guys don't... Um, you know that it's okay with the nose. I just want you guys to be caught up with everything, okay? Uh, I really like my Concord Impresario. I really do. Nice, heavy. I love the see-through back. I'm a huge chronograph person. I either want chronograph or as thin as I can get it. And obviously, for work, I'm, I'm loving. I've got two um, Apple watches, but man, I just oh. I love, it's a nice automatic, just a really nice knife. I mean, nice knife, nice watch. And most of these watches, expensive watches, people go, oh, you must be. When I was a consultant, you know, your impressions were everything. And I was a consultant for eight years. About 15 years ago, I stopped and, and got a real job. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. This is an interesting cigar, a newer one from when I, um, newer than what I used to smoke. It's called, I'm going to pronounce it Vigaros, Vigaros. And the reason is just that modern packaging, look at it. And I might have seen it back in the day, but this is a newer brand. I might have seen it back in the day and just passed it up because I didn't think it was a Cuban cigar. It doesn't look like with the packaging, but oh, that's a nice smoke. It's a real nice Cuban cigar. My shown design pen, this is the DLC coated 
People say DLC coded, or I know I do. Really, DLC is diamond-like coding. So you're kind of saying diamond-like coding, coding. But that's what it is. Really nice. Yes, I always say every day I carry my Sean Design pen and I keep jotting down notes and stuff saying, got to get more. <laughs> um, today is definitely a vodka day. I do carry a flask. Um, I don't drink during work at all, at all, at all. A lot of times after work I do, when I, especially when I put some expensive booze, I want someone to taste. Um, but if not, I just bring it home and it helps me. It does. Um, <laughs> it sounds crazy, but I finished the flask and just as a rule for me, um, you know, when you don't have a wife or someone looking over your shoulder, you can come home every night and just get blasted, right? I've done that in the past. Um, and so this, I'll finish this, wait a little before I go in on more. But I'm a grown man. I'll go in on more when I feel like it. But I just like starting with the flask, emptying that. Another one of my fan Mont Blanc wallets. The coin today, I have a, I keep telling you guys I love silver coins, I really do. This one is one of my favorites uh, from the U.S. Mint. It's actually part of a 2001 package. There's this proof, proof has the shiny back and the regular one. Uh, one ounce silver, of course. This is, this was representing the Smithsonian Museum but what they did was they took the buffalo head nickel and redid it on this one ounce coin I love carrying coins you know sometimes as you can see whether I'm sniffing a cigar through in the day or playing around with my coin in my pocket or on my desk spinning it or whatever just something to just keep me in touch <laughs> saying it's just work you know, I lived for work so much. I lost a lot spending way too much time on work. And I know there's a lot of videos on being the best you can be and just focusing and hustling. And I do all of that and did all of that. But boy, it's true. As you get older, you're not sitting there talking about all the great business decisions and moves you made. You start thinking about your family and the time lost. So... Uh, sounds corny. A lot, most of you are younger than I am. Some of you are my age or older. You guys know what I'm talking about. Spend time with friends, family, with yourself. All right. Uh, works great. It helps you buy great stuff, and I like stuff. But uh, believe it or not, and that's one reason I'm trimming, and it's nice, but I'll be trimming other things too. Stuff is not what makes the world go round. Take it from a guy who loves stuff, collecting stuff. Serge Pachenko, I've always said his name wrong, I'm sure. Just a wonderful knife maker. I love his coins. I have two mid-tech coins. This one has bronze on it. Slip joint, I love these on my keychain. You can also wear them around your neck. I love it on my keychain. No one knows what it is. They just think it's like a steampunk, as if I knew, as if I would buy stuff because it's steampunk <laughs> old guy with steampunk all over the place but I love it it does have that feel to it and they just think it's a wonderful little piece and then it is a slip joint S35 VN steel as well just a nice little mid-tech piece I love his work not only his work with Spydeco on the tags but I just love his work period one of my favorite Spydeco series, and if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't offered them up trimming. Um, at some point, probably some of them, because uh, it's grown into a sizable series of six or seven knives. This is one of my favorite out of all the knives. It's probably one of the most expensive as well. I'm talking about the Chaparro. Uh, the Chaparrales are great knives. They all have the same profile. 2.8, 
inch blade with that forward choil, 2.3 inch edge. CTS XHP steel full flat grind, great slicer. Ah, just a real nice knife. The total is 6.4 inches of the entire knife. It's a great gentleman's carry, and I love gentleman carry knives. It has a very strong back lock. This one, people either call it three, as if there are two threes, or four. I like to call it four. Before this, there was a full tie version, and it's lifted off. You can feel it. It's, it's a uh, stepped titanium and it doesn't have any blue on it this one the anodized pieces of it is blue you put them side to side I should have pulled out the other one to show you and it literally I didn't know it was the same knife except for the coloring it took me months and then I went I was doing a video with all of the collection I went wait a second this is the same it really makes it look nice it steps it up it's a expensive little knife. I love that they have the wire clips on these as well. Strong back lock. That forward choil is money. 50-50 forward choil, 50% blade, 50% handle. I love the chaparrales. Spotico knows that they are a very nice collection and they've been trying to get them down in price. They're so well made. And so the last one, had FRN scales and almost half the price of this one. This is an expensive one, but it's worth it. It's so well done. That's going to be my carry. Yeah, I'm still going super small, although I have a bunch of knives, even on the table. Look, I have all of these Chris Reeve knives I'm, I'm starting to take out of the collection, deciding which ones I'm going to sell. Um, and, and, of course, I'm going to keep some as well. But, man, out of the 56, I probably have, what, 50, 47 left after I've been trimming. But I love that knife. And I started with this knife. This is the Gale Bradley Air. I know you guys are familiar with the Gale Bradley, the Gale Bradley 2. He's done a number of fixed knives from Spyderco. But, man, this is a beautiful knife. There's one thing I don't like about it, and I'll talk about that later. But it's got that Warren Cliff blade. As you know, it was introduced with the Gale Bradley. I think it was the first CPM M4 steel that Spartaco used. Of course, they've been using it a lot lately. But um, he introduced it early on the first um, Gale Bradley. And on a lot of his blades, this one is a really beautiful gentleman's folder. It is so light. It literally is light as air. You know, that knife is 2.7 ounces. This one, 1.3 ounces. 1.3 ounces. It's so light and beautiful. So you have the CPM M4 steel. You got to take care of that. But in a gentleman's folder, it's really nice. And then, you know, the blade is 2.6 inches. Uh, again, only 1.3 ounces. It has glass fiber. So this, in like a twill kind of pattern, um, glass fibers thinner than the human hair knitted into this pattern. And usually what you get with some of the other knives is they put it like this glass-like sheen over it, plexiglass or something over it. But in this case, they don't have that. So you can feel like the texture of it, which I just love. And this dark, this gray and silver, is that beautiful or what? It feels great. Full tie liner, skeletonized, you know, they skeletonize the hell out of it. <laughs> liner lock. <laughs> it's just so well done. Spyderco. People don't talk about it a lot, but them and their small detailed knives. Remember, this is a, you know, it's it's been, you, you can't get it anymore. Discontinued, but just a beautiful knife. I'm, ah, 
it's perfect and I pick it up a lot see-through construction super light the one thing I don't like about it I don't blame them sometimes I criticize Spydeco forcing the four-way clip on everyone up down left right and you know it just mauls some of the knives there's just too many holes punched in it for some nerd who wants you know <laughs> and it might be you guys some kind of choice I get left and right but come on so here they knew how beautiful it was and so light they didn't put any clip at all I don't like that I get it but I don't like it I wish they'd come with some real light clip only to get it out of the way now what I usually do hold on let me reach for this it's kind of a messy I usually just put it in my small Chris Reeve leather sheath but that kind of defeats the lightness of it. But I don't want it rubbing against all my other knives. In this case, it's sunny. I didn't want to be bothered with that. So I'm not going to carry the air. If you can find an air, just to hold it in your hands, you'll know what I mean. It is such a wonderful knife. You just feel the quality in it. And it's so light. If you're like me and you like gentlemen folders, now I wear a dress shirt. Sometimes I'll just slip this without the sheath or, you know, in my dress shirt. <laughs> it's a really nice knife. Again, that is the Gail Bradley Air, and that, my friends, is the Pocket Dump Deconstruction. Hope you guys are having a great time. Wish all of you guys the best. Again, no hangover. Big sale. Hangover? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I think I'm going to do a lot. A lot of Chris Reeve knives, a lot of Spyticos. It's time. I, I, I had set my birthday as kind of a goal for the trimming, but I, I've had to hold off because I had some problems with PayPal. I think, knock wood, those are resolved. So uh, we'll do one big trimming. Uh, call your friends. Tell them we're only doing it on this channel. Um, and then I'm going to stop all of this madness trimming and start decide, you know, opening up an eBay and, and boxing some of the more expensive knives and sending them off to be sold. I'll let you know where those are as well. You guys have a perfect day. Don't forget to thumb it up, subscribe, turn on your notifications. You got to have your notifications on and know if I do a sell or not. You guys have a perfect day. Stay cool. <laughs> Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.